Welcome back. This is our second video on VLOOKUP and uh, this one's a little bit more advanced. It's going to be looking at the true range lookup instead of false. So in this example we have um, a US tax rate chart. Um, basic, uh, just downloaded it off the internet. And then uh, user input here, your earnings, and we're going to have it return the tax rate and the actual amount of tax it gets pay calculated out. So the difference between true and false in the lookup range if you look up, if you notice on this chart, nowhere here does it have the number 30,000. Okay, only one penny to 17,400, 17,401 cent to 70,700 and so on. So by using the VLOOKUP TRUE, you're going to click what you want to look up, select your range, the column you want to return, so 3 for column 1, column 2, column 3, I want to return the percentage, and TRUE. What it actually does, now these have to be sorted um, in ascending order from lowest to highest. It finds the closest matching table value to your lookup value without exceeding the lookup value. So uh, you can see 17,400 does not exceed 30,000 and 70,700 does exceed. So the value it's going to return is here 17,401 uh, to 70,700 15% rate. Now it's also important to note that the formula is not actually doing anything with this B column. Um, it's it's only looking at this first column here uh, for the VLOOKUP. Um, this is just pretty much for the user reference. Um, the formula is only referring to these values. And like we established in our last video, this 15% matches this value here, but it didn't pull in the formatting from this cell. So you might want to apply a percentage formatting to this cell so it looks similar. Alright, so the last thing we want to do on this sheet is calculate the actual tax amount that this person owes. Uh, the way the tax system works, um, if you earn 30000 you don't necessarily have to just pay 15% of 30000 You're actually paying 10% of the first 17,400 you made and you're paying 15% from 17,400 to 70,000. So in this case 17,400 to 30,000 is at a 15% rate. There's probably plenty of different ways to do this but the way I'm going to choose is to take on each row to put in the amount of tax you had to pay for the previous row. In this case for $17,400 you would owe 10% tax rate which would be $1,740 and then for this row it's going to be 142,000 I'm sorry 70,700 minus the 17,400 which you can see is up to 53,000 and I'm going to put parentheses around that for my order of operations and multiply that by 15 percent and now from this point I can drag the formula down because it's always going to be this high value minus the high value before it times the current tax bracket rate so you're not paying 25 percent of the whole bill you're paying 25 percent from 70,700 to 142,700 and I'll just drag this down now you see each value in each respective row is the amount of taxes you owed for the complete range in the row above and the last step will add a running sum of all the values Uh, I 
can lock this cell range here so I can drag this formula. Um, what I did there was make a sum range <coughs> with a uh, locked range on the first value and an unlocked range on the second value. So when you drag the formula down, the first range stays the same, which is your anchor point, and the second range changes. So in the second cell example, the first cell is the same and the second cell goes down one. And the third one, first cell is the same, second cell goes down three. So the range continues to expand as you go on down the list. So this is a running sum of taxes owed from all of the previous brackets. So what we'll do here is do your VLOOKUP. Look up your value on this list, comma, one, two, three, four, five, comma, true. And what you have here is the cumulative sum of the field above your current field. So that's only part of the formula. Then we want to add these around this whole second half here. I'm going to look up the earnings rate of our guy, 30,000, minus VLOOKUP of this 30,000 on this column A to find the beginning value of the ranges, comma 1, because A is 1, and I want to turn this value over to here true because I'm looking for an approximate value and close parentheses and now multiply that by one more VLOOKUP 30,000 in this range and that should be the value. I'm going to prove this out um, mathematically. It should be 10% of 17,400. So 17,400 times 0.1. And then the second part should be 15% of 30,000 minus 17,401. 400.01 rather and times 15% add these two together and it is correct um, it looks a little bit different because the rounding which I could extend the digits further and show the same value but there you have it, a little exercise with VLOOKUP with a uh, true range lookup.